To learn how to go from this to this in less than two hours, watch my DIY crochet braids video, subscribe and stay tuned. I've been wearing crochet braids since about 2013, if not earlier, and I'm always doing something different to my hair. I relaxed my hair this past fall and it went horribly wrong and my hair started falling out. I tell the full story in the video linked above and in the description. Now I'm back to my old standby crochet braids to grow another fresh head of hair again. So far I've got about two good inches of new growth. Being as gentle as possible with my fragile and damaged hair, I braid it into eight corn rows that are combined with braiding hair to provide a strong base and I braid them together and then sew the tail of the corn rows to the base. Free Tress Ringlet Wand Curl in the color 2 is my go-to. This hair is beginner friendly and it's easy to install. I use a basic latch hook, a micro latch hook that is commonly used to make wigs and frontals. I also use clips, needles, thread, scissors, gel, and an edge brush. Now this is what the hair looks like when you first take it out of the package. It's very coarse and it mimics African American hair texture. There's one bundle of hair out of the package and one piece of hair which I usually separate into two. And as you can see, the hair is very voluminous. Installing crochet hair is very simple. You simply take the latch hook, either stick it in the braid or stick it underneath the braid. Pull the hair in the open end of the latch hook. Close the latch, pull the hair through to the other side. And at that point you can let the latch hook go and you will pull the loose end of the hair through the loop at the top. Then you can either knot it or double knot it. With the free tress hair being coarse with large wand curls, it stays in place a lot easier than silkier crochet hair with a looser curl pattern and it makes it a bit more forgiving. I space this hair one finger width apart and then I install the next piece. I always fill in the bottom row of my hair first. It helps me set a baseline for the look and gives me a good starting point to build the hairstyle from. Then I go to the right side of the hair and fill in the hair while going up each row. I usually do my hair while I'm watching TV to help the time go by. Now once I get to the back of my hair where the corn rolls are longer and the space between the braids is larger, I vary my technique. This is where the micro latch hook comes in. Now I use the micro latch hook to add hair to the root of my hair. And this helps to disguise the large spaces as well as corn rolls and it gives a really natural result. Well, that's one pack folks. As you can see, it gets you pretty far. Now jumping ahead, I continue until I filled in my entire head. Now I have a few finishing techniques to help the style look a little better. I usually favor a side part, so I will have to put in a little more work to disguise the cornrows that will be exposed by the part. I use my micro latch hook to add additional hair down the row that will be parted and this helps me add it just where it's needed. Next, I use my micro latch hook to create invisible knots around my part. To create an invisible knot, you simply use the micro latch hook to install very small pieces of hair, but instead of pulling both sides of loose hair through, you just pull one side through. This creates the illusion of the hair growing through the scalp. I continue the invisible knotting all around the part especially in the back of the part to close it off. Here I'm giving you another close-up view of my invisible knotting around my part. Now sometimes this part of the process can feel a little tedious but it pays off because it ends up really finishing the style off. You'll want a little bit of scalp peeking through and this helps the style to look as natural as possible.
Okay, we're almost there. Now I could be finished at this point because this hair looks nice straight out of the package, but I like my hair to look a certain way, so I'm going to trim it up. So I usually pull at the hair to see what needs to be cut or to see what looks out of place and I start trimming from the bottom. Cutting the hair is my favorite part because it always makes me feel like a hairstylist and it makes me feel really accomplished for some reason. I section my hair from ear to ear and clip the back out of the way. I like to focus on the front half to make sure that it frames my face. And in case you haven't noticed, I have a big forehead. I love side bangs to balance out my facial features. I always make sure to cut my bangs right across at my eyebrows and I cut out anything that looks bulky or out of place. I make sure that it's framing my face and covering and not necessarily covering my face. And I just trim little pieces just a little at a time. I also don't like the hair to stick too far out away from my face, so I tend to trim that back too. So I'm basically cutting layers around my face, and if you angle the scissors, it's really easy to do that. Okay, taking the clips back down, I focus on the back half of the hair next. And I'm looking for a nice round shape here. Angle the scissors and start from the bottom and work your way up to get the shape. I pull the hair out and I feel around to make sure that it's shaped properly. And I also fluff it a little. I like my hair to look manicured, but I still wanna make sure that it's nice and full. Okay, this is how much hair I cut. Last step, get a little gel and an edge brush and just slick your edges down if you want. All right, this is the part where I take a deep breath and admire all of my work. I love Free Trust One Curl. It's light, bouncy, it's easy to install, cut and style. It holds the style long. It washes and dries easy. It doesn't tangle too much. It's great vacation hair. It's great go-to hair. Love, love, love. Thanks so much for watching and for great beauty and hair tips, make sure to subscribe and leave your comments and questions about the video below. I'd love to hear what you think. Take care.